So the purpose of this presentation is that um, we are launching Media Space, which is a new social media platform for professionals. And I'm very happy to be here and uh, would like to thank you uh, to Anna uh, for this invite to speak, uh, because this whole conference is very exciting. And um, I'm very happy to share my journey and to learn from others as well. So. Uh, a little bit about ourselves. Um, we have a, a team in Budapest uh, with media experts. Uh, basically, it's a, it wasn't a, a conscious decision, but this is an all-female management in uh, Hungary. Uh, and when I launched uh, White Report Global Limited in London two years ago, then uh, uh, we were happy to be joined by Hemi Sandison, who is an international lawyer, and Fia Macaulay, who is a non executive director uh, at our company. So our back office is in uh, Hungary and uh, our front office is in uh, London now. And uh, as a media expert, uh, obviously, uh, we face many difficulties on the market, uh, including cross-media competition, digital uh, transformation, outdated regulation and taxation, and uh, obviously money and trust issues have been around for several uh, years now, but now we can add this pandemic and global economic and, um, and media crisis as well. So uh, how we started was uh, that I, I was the former CEO of um, Universal Mekan and Magma Global in Hungary. And then I uh, launched a company uh, that was a media consulting and business analyst company and still is. Uh, uh, with a, an innovative uh, cross-media business intelligence service uh, called White Report. We've got a database, cross-media database, including lots of media companies and uh, media in Hungary and in the UK. Uh, and last year, we recognized that uh, because of these um, very hot issues in terms of regulation between online platforms and traditional uh, media, it's time to, to share our uh, business intelligence insights in a wider scale. Uh, so we uh, organized a meeting and a roundtable at the GovTech Summit last November in Paris. Uh, it was titled uh, Unlocking Digital Competition, uh, and a very di diverse group of professionals uh, were there, including the advertising global advertising director of the New York Times, uh, competition and media lawyers, the Hungarian government uh, program called Digital Success Program, who are responsible for uh, the digitalization in Hungary, uh, publishers, uh, association, and media and competition lawyers. And um, the conclusion was that it was a very useful uh, conversation about these market issues, obviously sharing with the uh, white report evidence, and um, that. Uh, I just recognize that it's not enough having these separate roundtables, but we should have thousands of uh, discussions like this, and that this di diversity of different angles of these professionals uh, can work together and can collaborate if they start talking to each other. So that was the professional part. As you can see, it's not a very diverse group from, from gender point of view, but I will come back to that point later. So after uh, this Perry event, uh, I was thinking what to do because uh, it was pretty clear that there are industry problems, there are day-to-day -day work problems. Mentioning GDPR is a legal problem, but also an ad tech problem for programmat programmatic buyers, um, publisher companies, and so on. And um, I just thought that we should create a platform uh, called mediaspace.global that connects all professionals in the media, technology, and regulation uh, sectors. And uh, this is the only way to uh, design a sustainable market if there is more uh, collaboration and more conversation. And obviously, we can use the power of community, uh, the business intelligence evidence, and also innovation. So this professional network is official, officially launching now. Uh, and uh, this is the beta version that is already live. Um, and uh, 
I would be very pleased uh, if you are interested, uh, if you could sign up and uh, share your views and give your feedbacks, uh, because uh, the objective of this is to have um, media, advertising, marketing, PR, uh, tech people, uh, regulation professionals closer to each other and um, support each other um, in a much closer and much more collaborative way than we've been doing it for years. Uh, media space uh, is a very uh, different one from many social networks, and uh, we call it a new wave uh, because, uh, first of all, obviously it's vertical, uh, so it's not like LinkedIn where you can find all um, industries and all professionals, but it focuses on uh, the media uh, technology and regulation professionals in the media and advertising space. On the other hand, it's a technological feature, uh, but I'm sure you will understand why it's important, uh, that our feed collects every information from everyone uh, that is shared. So it's not like that you live in your professional bubbles, like we live in Facebook or LinkedIn or uh, in most of the platforms, but uh, you can find uh, inspiring different information uh, from a global perspective. There are other issues, uh, still functionable uh, or functional features like uh, being interoperable. Uh, that's a very important uh, one from not building another world garden, uh, meaning that if you have any content that you would like to share uh, in different places, then you can share it to LinkedIn, uh, Facebook and Twitter as well. Uh, because this is a social platform that's going to be regulated uh, in the following decade, um, we would like to have the uh, power of community to set up the new rules and um, exercising them uh, on media space. So it would be a sort of regulatory sandbox as well. But uh, on the top of the professional issues, uh, I found some very interesting things, and basically that's why I'm here at this uh, Women Tech Conference. Um, and this is the, the network part and the women professional part. Because if you look around, um, among the leaders, there isn't too many female, and uh, in media, there is uh, quite a lot. But uh, if you go deeper in technology, obviously, uh, there isn't, and uh, we just thought that uh, maybe we should deal with that. It wasn't always like that, uh, because in my career in the past um, more than 20 years, uh, I didn't really deal with this gender issue. Uh, I was um, uh, the CEO of a very big company uh, in Hungary. Actually, that was the biggest um, global media agency in Hungary um, in my 20s. And I didn't understand why this gender problem would be a problem. Uh, but, uh, but sometimes later, uh, when uh, we were selected uh, to be part of this PwC London scale-up program called Business to Business Female Founders Program, uh, it became pretty clear uh, that uh, there are certain patterns that uh, are more typical uh, in case of women founders than uh, in case of uh, male founders. And I just recognize that it's very important to, to have a community. And uh, that's how we started. Uh, these women, they are all female founders in the business to business space. Uh, it was two years ago when we met first and we still help each other and talk to each other and try to, try to figure out how to, how to collaborate. So that was the minute I, um, I, I recognized this female um, angle and uh, being aware of that, uh, we would like to provide more space uh, for women professionals in technology, uh, media and regulation. Uh, one opportunity on media space is uh, that uh, we've got the member daily uh, interviews that we started with Lavina. Uh, she's our reporter from London. Uh, and uh, we interview C-level professionals uh, in this space. And uh, we are quite keen on to have this one, one uh, 50 50 ratio of females and males. So uh, if you are in this space and uh, would like to say something, uh, 
uh, and uh, you are a C-level uh, executive, then uh, we would be very happy to contact you and to interview you uh, so we can provide speaking opportunities for, for females. On the other side, uh, we opened a uh, open discussion group for the Women in Tech Conference uh, participants uh, on media space. Uh, so you can join that group, or if you are in this uh, profession, obviously you can start your own. That's all free. And um, we are going to have events as well as we go on. Uh, it's probably September and November, so the autumn of this year. Uh, where we are going to uh, offer speaking opportunities as well uh, that will be announced later. And last but not least, uh, I'm pretty open to any collaborative um, ideas where female organizations can uh, have females in, the, in this media regulation technology space. So I would be very pleased to connect those who... <coughs> We can um, uh, offer opportunities for, for those women uh, on the platform who, who are open-minded uh, to be more active in their spare time or professionally. And uh, just to give an a, other example, uh, how we think about uh, collaboration and collaborating with uh, female founders. Um, there is a job section uh, on the media space platform uh, where we started a collaboration with Juliet. Uh, Juliet is the founder of Any Good, and we met in London at the PwC Female Founders uh, Scale Up Program. Uh, and uh, the Any Good platform is a very special uh, recruitment and uh, job platform uh, because uh, if you sign up and become a member, you can offer. Uh, people for certain roles and if they get a job then you get uh, paid for that and uh, for the, the companies it's uh, much cheaper than uh, normally uh, so that's the uh, innovation uh, what Juliet started uh, a few years ago and I thought it's great to have this in this uh, media space uh, context as well so we uh, teamed up and uh, we um, uh, gave a space for uh, any good op uh, sharing open roles for uh, people who appear on the media space platform. So I think that's a great opportunity uh, for a collaboration for both parties. And uh, Juliet gave an interview uh, like two weeks ago, uh, not long after we started the beta phase, uh, not announced yet. And uh, she had a very important sentence that I wanted to uh, point out. Uh, she said that recognizing your own social capital, your networks uh, that you have, that's always been the best way. She spoke about finding roles, but I think uh, that's true in general, that it's very important that there is such a big power uh, in our connections and our social network, and we can build this capital further. Uh, that if there is such an encouraging um, space like this conference uh, where people are here to help each other and to learn from each other, I think that's a very important uh, statement that, that it has to happen. So last but not least, uh, I would like to encourage you uh, to check out the uh, media space. Uh, it's free to register and uh, if you are in this space, I think this is a great opportunity to connect others, to stay up to date, and obviously influence. So thank you very much for your um, attention. And uh, please contact me. Uh, that's me, Kinga Inza, uh, via LinkedIn or via mediaspace.global. And now I'm going back to the this chat room and uh, I wanted to ask because I I think we have five more minutes uh, for uh, a QA and a if you have any questions or comments or feedback or any ideas to share.
<laughs> it's so difficult to talk to you. Thank you, John. Oh, hi. We know each other. <laughs> we can't see each other now, but that's great to have you here. Regulatory sandbox. Sure. Yeah, so the point is that uh, currently we have the big uh, social networks and digital platforms uh, where there are lots of uh, issues around uh, privacy, uh, sharing uh, business and personal data, uh, void gardens, and so on. So what we thought was that uh, instead of speaking about these in general, uh, it would be great to have a practical view. And uh, it was uh, on the 2nd of June, I think, last week, uh, when the uh, European Commission started two consultancies um, regarding this uh, uh, general media and platform issues before any regulation they are considering. So what, what we are going to do is to offer this new platform space, uh, which has a kind of terms and condition and rules, but they are everything that we get from the platform uh, technological provider. And we would like to offer it uh, to discuss. And whatever is, uh, is reasonable, then we will do uh, live. So people who, lawyers, ad tech uh, people, advertising media experts, we want to try out a new advertising solution. We are happy to, to do so on the media space or to look at new rules, how it works in, um, in practice from legal point of view uh, and so on. So basically this is it. And I would be very happy to talk to uh, those of you who are interested in this. Thank you. We still have two more minutes. Um, so I'm very interested in uh, any more feedback. John is asking uh, 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 no, we haven't taken it into consideration. Thank you for uh, this and uh, we will take a look at it. Uh, are you from um, media or tech or regulation or which, which side of the profession you are participating? I think it's 23 people here. Yeah, I can see some of your answers. I don't want to uh, reply each of them. I hope that these uh, uh, questions and comments will be available later. But I would like to encourage you, uh, because I think there are some serious uh, collaboration opportunities appear here, uh, to contact me. And I hope that I will get the uh, contacts from you, uh, each of you, because I just know a few people uh, from here. And I would like to uh, carry on this conversation with each of you. And uh, we are pretty serious about these um, member daily interviews. I already mentioned it to John in the rehearsal, uh, that it's really tough to get um, C-level female speakers because they all don't speak or they commit to speak and they just um, cancel the interviews. Uh, and anyway, there is more uh, male people who could be interviewed uh, on sea level. So we would like, we believe it's a great opportunity for both parties because we would get fresh views uh, from those who we don't know yet. Uh, and hopefully for others uh, who can um, share their business views, policy views, day-to-day -day marketing practical views. So it's a, it's, a, it's a great opportunity, I think, for everyone. And as the platform is growing, uh, we already have a few hundred people uh, and pretty sea level. I think this medium sea level uh, decision makers um, will be the majority. So it's really a, really a valuable uh, network for everyone. So um, I would like to say thank you because I think uh, it's, uh, my, my time is over. Uh, so uh, thank you again. Uh, 
please uh, let's connect. And uh, I will be around because I'm very interested in some other uh, presentations as well. So I hope that we will be able to talk later. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.